Hello. We are hello. going. To, hello, hello. We're going to start in six minutes. So let's get ready, okay? Okay. Esta es la cámara, pero me dan que ver. Te dije que hacía que aquí. No te digo nada. 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 No te
Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Teacher. Good evening. How are Good you evening. today? Good? Good, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Now, it's 8 p.m. Right, so we are going to start with the people that we have. Vamos a comenzar con los que ya tenemos. Con honor al tiempo, en honor a la responsabilidad. Vamos a comenzar con los que estamos acá y a las 8 y 10 pasamos asistencia, ¿verdad? Para darle un tiempito a los demás. So, remember, your cameras should be on. Super responsables, yes. Very responsible. Right. Very, let me put here. Very responsible. Muy responsables. Very responsible. Ahí le puedo ir poniendo frases en el chat que se nos vayan ocurriendo en el día a día para que la vayan anotando. Very responsible. It's super responsible. It's okay. The okay. link. Someone is asking for the link. Let me see if I can send them the link so they can join the class. I think I can. Oops, that's not the one. I'm gonna delete that one. Da, 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 da. There we are. That's the link. That's the meeting ID. Remember that we will use the same link every day. Todos los días vamos a usar el mismo link para entrar a la clase. Recordemos eh, poner nombre completo. Very good. So the ones that put their names, their complete name. If not, don't worry. Yo se lo voy a cambiar otro ratito. Pero ya la siguiente semana ya, o mañana ya nos recordamos de poner el nombre completo. Claudia, aún no le hemos cambiado su nombre. Mil disculpas. Así que me acuerdo en la lista de no decirle Herrera, sino que Hernández. Ok. Now, we will start with the class. Right. And well, announcements. Remember that today you will start your first homework, right? You will have to go this time. Let me show you my computer. Le voy a mostrar mi computadora. Teacher, una, una yes. consultita. Um, go ahead. Ayer yo le exponía que no me habían agregado al grupo y aún no me han agregado. ¿No fue usted la que agregaron hoy? No. O sea, es... No me han agregado, no, no me veo aquí, o sea, no tengo ninguna. No se ve allí todavía, es que vi todavía. que agregaron a alguien, pero sé que era usted. No, usted me mandó ayer el, 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 el PDF, el, el, uh -huh. pero, usted me, pero usted ve su número, pero sí. no, me, entiendo que hay un grupo, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Ah, ah, pues sí, es que hoy agregaron a alguien, pensé que era usted, entonces lo voy a recordar de nuevo. Por para favor, que lo puedan hacer. Ok, Thank perfecto. You, You're welcome. Oh. Eh, Pedrina, ¿le agregaron a usted entonces al grupo? Este sí, yo hablé directamente ah. porque no me habían mandado las cosas. Ah, o okay. sea. Ajá. Eh, noche. Mi nombre es Franco Vázquez. Hello, Franco. Fíjense que yo el día de ayer no puedo, no, no puedo asistir por la cuestión de trabajo, de que la noche porque yo trabajo como contador, entonces estaba en la clase de cierre del año, entonces no pude asistir de ayer hasta el día de ahora. Estoy escuchando que han hecho grupos sobre qué o qué. No, es un grupo que está en WhatsApp. ¿Usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp? No, pero eso consultaba, porque hasta hoy me estoy dando cuenta de eso. Ok, no, Franco no está en el grupo tampoco de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Franco, le voy, Franco Vázquez. Voy a poner mi número de teléfono acá, Franco, para ah, okay. que me agregue al WhatsApp y le voy a mandar el, eh, 
el módulo en PDF, el libro que vamos a utilizar para que lo tenga disponible para la clase, porque lo vamos a usar, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos okay, acá. Muchas gracias. De nada. David Ernesto Quintanilla. Lo agregaron al grupo de WhatsApp. David Ernesto, did you check your email? Revisó su email. David. Sí. Sí, sí. Me agregaron. Gracias. Ok, very good. Entonces lo estamos con Angie y Frank. Yes. Ok, Thank you, very teacher. good. You're welcome. Así vamos, poquito a poquito. Ok, so let's start. Yesterday we Thank finished you. practicing. Today is video conferencia número dos. Right? That's the, what we're going to start today. Let me show you here. Let me show you my computer. Right? Again, we continue with the National English for Work program. Uh, this is the beginner level, module one. And we are in unit one. Remember, this is unit one, right? Get to know someone. And let's practice pronunciation. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación. ¿verdad? Ayer yo leí estos objetivos, estas competencias que queremos desarrollar. Ahora tratemos de leerlo ustedes, ¿verdad? No porque lo van a hacer perfecto, sino que con el objetivo de practicar. So, let's see. Nelson, you go with the first bullet. Eso le decimos bullet en inglés. First bullet. Nelson. Ok. Mm -hmm. oh, about what I do at my workplace and to say my occupation. Very good, very good, Nelson. Very good. Go with the second bullet right there, Gladys. Uh, tell, tell about what me and the other people do in different workplace and say world's occupation. Very good, excellent job. Very good. Let's see here more people. Jennifer. You go with the third bullet. As other adults, their names and their occupation in their workplace. In their workplaces, very good. And Ricardo, you go with the fourth one. Provide and request the spelling of name, last name, and the other information and other information. Very good. Excellent, we did great. So let's start here. We are in video conferencia numero dos, right? The video conferencia numero dos is called Yes, questions in short answers. Oh, sorry, yes, no, what is the no? Yes, no, questions in short answers. That's the name. Yes, no, questions in short answers. Right, that's the name of the video conference that we're going to have today. So we're going to make questions, right? But yesterday, yesterday, we were practicing many things, right? So what did we practice yesterday? What were the things that we were doing yesterday? ¿Quién se recuerda que practicamos ayer? Yesterday, we practiced about... Claudia? Uh, uh, our name. Our names. Uh, asking uh, what's your name. Uh, okay, asking what's your name, very good. Um, answer my name is. Answer my name is, very good. What else? Uh, what's your middle name? What's your middle name? Okay, very good. What's your middle name? Uh, Answer my middle name is. Mm -hmm. And? Uh, um, and what's your last name? And answer my, my last name is. My last name is. Okay, very good, very good. So you remember a lot, Claudia, very good. We also, we also practice some vocabulary, right? We also practice some vocabulary. So I'm gonna show you again the pictures that we practiced yesterday. 
And I'm gonna ask you for the names of the top pictures. And I'm going to ask you directly. Voy a preguntar directamente a ver si nos recordamos el vocabulario técnico que tratamos de aprender ayer, okay? Let's see. Let's see. Who remembers the name for this picture? What is the uh, activity, the occupation for this picture? Maintenance. 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 Very good. Maintenance. Very good. Very good. It's maintenance. What about this one? Oh, Ooh. sorry. So Floor, manager. Manager. Floor, Floor manager. manager. Floor manager. Very good. What about this one? Supervisor. 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 Very good. Supervisor. Supervisor. Are you supervisors? Are you supervisors? No? Uh, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. We have a supervisor. Very good. Yes. No, oh, another supervisor, Pedrina. Very good. And let's see here. What's this? Truck driver. Driver. Truck driver. Yay. Truck driver. Very good. And this one? Engineer. Engineer. Very good. Engineer. Very good. And? Secretary. Secretary. Very good. Secretary. Very good. So, this is the first activity, right, for us to remember que recordemos un poco de lo que hicimos ayer, right? Y parte de lo que hicimos ayer, this is the vocabulary. Uh, besides the vocabulary, we also practice with the use of the verb be. You remember the verb be? We practice affirmative statements. I am yes. Natalie. I am a teacher. You are a student. You are students. Right? They are supervisors. Right? Do you remember those sentences? ¿Se recuerdan de esas oraciones? ¿Se recuerdan de esta parte? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, we had homework. Teníamos tarea de hacer. We had homework about this. Right? So let's see who remembers the homework. But before that is 8.12. So I'm gonna call attendance right now. Le voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Right, for the attendance. Let me put here. And. Let's give me one moment. Let's see, very quick. Um, Eneida Jasmine Hernandez Cruz. Is here? Eneida? Eneida Yasmin? Eneida, are you? Me escuchan? Sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, Eneida, yes. me escuchan? Hijo. Está en, en, en modo mudo, Eneida. Encienda el micrófono. Yes. Ok. Cuando le digo su nombre, a pesar que yo lo veo, tienen que decir presente, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Gracias. Okay. Eneida Yasmin Hernández Cruz. Preso. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Janet Ramos de Hernández. Present. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. I'm here. Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Present. Juan José Hernández Hernández. Present. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Present. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. I'm here. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present. Norma Carolina Mata de Cheves. Norma. Presente. Ok, thank you, Norma. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nancy María, not here. Ok. Mario Noé Vázquez Núñez. 
Mario Noé. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Wilfredo José Paniagua Castro. Sandra Gladys Méndez de, Bar de Barahona. Presente. Franco Damián Vázquez. Presente. Thank you, Franco. And Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Francis Humberto. Presente. Thank you. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente. Thank you, Angie. Very good. So, we finish here with the attendance, la primera ronda. Vamos a ver, ojalá se nos unan los que faltan. Let's continue. So, yesterday we were practicing with, with the affirmative form of the verb be, right? We were practicing with the subject pronouns I, you, she, he, we, etc. And the verb be, am, um, are, is, and so on, right? Now, this is the affirmative form. Your homework, so tarea, your homework was to make the verb be contracted, right? Shorter. So in this case, we were working with the contracted form, right? I am a teacher, you are a student, she's a secretary. What is the form, right? We have these sentences. We're going to make them contracted. So what are we going to do? En el chat, vamos a poner las oraciones como las tienen, como yo no les puedo ver sus cuadernos, right? Y si yo las escribo, no tiene sentido, porque yo lo puedo escribir bien. Entonces, quiero ver cómo las escribieron, right? So let's see. Aparte de Franco, todos los demás estuvimos ayer en la casa, ¿sí? Franco va a prestar atención ahorita y vamos a seguir con los demás. Let's see, Jennifer. Jennifer Abidail. Tell me the contracted okay. form en el chat, lo voy a escribir. Pueden todos en el chat abajito, sí. ¿Lo ven? Yes. Yes, ok, very good. En el teléfono no sé dónde está el chat para serles honestos, pero ahí sí. Very good. We can see here that David... Okay, very good, David. Very good. Now, uh, let's see. Jennifer Abidail, you are going to write, you are going to write the contracted form, right? You see my screen? You are going to write the contracted form of he is a truck driver. ¿Cuál es la forma contratada de he is a truck driver? Okay. Is mm -hmm. a truck driver. He is a truck driver. I'm going to write it here on the chat, right? He is a truck driver. Usted me va a escribir en el chat la forma contactada que. Okay, very good, Franco. Very good. I like the attitude. Very good. Okay. Okay. That's the that's the sentence. He is a truck driver. What is the contracted form, Jennifer? He's a truck driver. He's a truck driver. Very good, Jennifer. Excellent job. Very good. Si se fijan, ahí tenemos he is now his, right? He's a truck driver. Very good. Now we go with David, David Ernesto. Let's go here, David Ernesto, with this second sentence. Let's practice. Mm -hmm. We are supervisors. We are supervisors. Okay, David, we're waiting for your answer. Claudia Janet, get ready. Get ready, Claudia Janet. 
Alistes, get ready. Get ready. That's for you, Claudia. And it is a beautiful house. We're supervisors. Very good, David. Just remember that the apostrophe is only one. El apostrophe mm. solo es una. Okay? Una, una comita, un apostrofe. Ahí, we are supervisors. Very good. And at the beginning, we have capital letters. Okay? Capital letters. We are supervisors. It's a beautiful house. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, excellent. What do we need to remember? Since the beginning, very good. Angela, Angela, remember the apostrophe. Remember the apostrophe. His. He's a true diver. Now, what are we going to do now? now we're going to continue working with the other forms. No vean a que solo ellos van a participar. Faltan las demás formas. So let's get ready. Let's continue. We have here the contracted form, super easy, right? Super, super easy right? with the contracted form. But let's see here, right? Like I said before, we have subject pronouns, right? With the verb be and the complement, right? We have here with the verb be, right? Okay, Angela, very good. We have the subject. This could be the subjects, right? The verb be and the complement. The complement can be occupations, emotions, adjectives, locations. For example, one with occupation, right? I can say here and pay attention to this. Una con una ocupación. He is a um, floor manager. He is a floor manager. Occupation, right? Emotions, emociones, emotions. He is angry. Hmm. He is angry. Right? He is angry. Not hungry. He is hungry? No. Oye, tenemos hambre. He is hungry. No, he is angry. Very good. Then adjectives. He's handsome. Like, I don't know, Brad Pitt. He's handsome. Right? He's handsome. And then we have locations. He is in the school. He's in the school. Right? So here we have the first one is with occupations. The second with emotions. Right? Then we have the third one, an adjective, he's handsome. And the last one with a location, he is in the school, right? We have four different ways of writing the verb be. Estos son los usos que le damos comúnmente al verbo be, right? Lo vamos a utilizar para decir ocupaciones, emociones, para describir a las personas con adjetivos o para decir dónde se encuentran las personas de una forma más sencilla. ¿Ok? Occupations, emotions, adjectives, and locations. Right? Ese es el uso para describir estas situaciones. Right? Para que alguien entendí, ¿para qué utilizas el verbo to be? That's why we use the verb be. Esa es la razón para, para la que utilizamos en inglés el verbo to be, para describir ocupaciones, para describir locaciones, emociones, that's what we use it. Is that clear? ¿Esa parte está clara? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Any questions? Any questions. No? Yes. Yeah. What's your question, Francis? ¿Cuál es su pregunta, Francis? Eh, los verbos los verbos estos me que solo son para emociones. Este es eh, el, el uso de exacto del verbo be. Tú. Ah, solo el verbo be. Solo el verbo be. Solo el verbo oh. be. Uh -huh. Los otros verbos, okay. cada verbo en inglés tiene su, su uso específico. 
Este solamente es para estas opciones. ¿Qué, ¿De qué quiere hablar usted? ¿Quiere describir algo? Right, you use the verb be. ¿Quiere decir la ocupación de alguien? Pedrina is a supervisor. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Pedrina is a... Pedrina is in her house. Pedrina is in her house. Juan Josué is in his office. Ah, oh, no. He is in the living room. Está en la sala. He is in the living room. Right? And then we, okay. we are going to express locations. Pero ese es el uso solo del verbo be. Okay? Nelson, yes, what's your question? Yes, teacher. Este, eh, son dos palabras, pero quiero escribirlas para que me pueda explicar cuál es la diferencia y en qué, qué oraciones se utiliza. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, do you have any questions about the use of the verb be in this case? Para que vamos a utilizar el verbo to be? Any questions? No. no? What about the others? The demás? Eneida, Claudia, David, Carolina, Franco? Any questions? Any questions? No questions? Okay. Now, we're going to continue. Mientras Nelson escribe sus palabras, we're going to continue here with the next use. Okay? No hemos terminado. Now, the negative form of the verb be, it's very, very easy. It's very easy. Si se recuerdan, acá teníamos subject plus verb be plus complement. Now we have subject plus verb be plus not plus complement. And that makes a sentence negative. Before, we used to have as I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. Now we have I am not a teacher. I am a truck driver. Right? No, no soy profesor. Soy un uh, truck driver. No sé cómo decir truck driver en español. Manejador de trucks. No, I don't know. Right? I, I am not a teacher. I am a truck driver. Right? right. I'm not a teacher. I'm a doctor. supervisor. Right? And then doctor. I'm doctor. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, I am not. Doctor. <laughs> I am not a doctor. Very good. I am not a doctor. I am a student. Right? I am a student. Very good. Those are the ways that we're going to say the sentences in the negative form. Now, let's think. We have here these sentences. Ya las tenemos, las oraciones. Ya tenemos los ejemplos, right? We have these sentences. What is going to be the negative sentence of the second? The negative of the second sentence. You are a student. What is the negative form of you are a student? Uh, you are not a student. No. You are not a student. Very good. You are not a student. What could be the negative form of she's a secretary, Franco? Excuse me? What is the negative form of she is a secretary? She is not a secretary. She is not a secretary. Very good, Franco. Carolina, he is a truck driver. Mm -hmm. Carolina? He is not a truck, truck driver. He is not a truck driver. Very good, very good. Let's see here, Pedrina. We are supervisors. We are not supervisors. We are not supervisors. Very easy. Very good, very good. Angie, you are students. You are not students. You are not students. It is a beautiful house. It is a beautiful house. David Ernesto. It is not a beautiful house. It is not a beautiful house. Exactly. Very good. And Emerson, they are floor managers. 
They are not floor managers. They are not floor managers. Very good. You're very smart, guys. Even ligerito aprendimos esto. Very good. Very good. Negative form is very easy. Solo le agregamos el not y esto ya lo hicimos. Right? ¿Ya ven? No nos vamos a complicar con gramática y que pongamos el... No. Solo le agregamos el not y ya hicimos la negative form. Right? Pero esa es la forma, es the full form. La forma larga. Right? The full form. Now, we have to see the contracted form. Right? Not the full form, but the contracted form. Así como lo hicimos en las afirmativas, we're going to do it in the negative form. Okay? It's the same. So let's see. Let's see. We have here, well, we have the negatives. Sorry. We have the negatives. Now, let's see the contracted form. Look at the contracted form. It says here, I'm not a teacher. Right? I'm not a teacher. Um, what happened here? I we had this. I am not a teacher. We are going to add the apostrophe. Right? A. And the letter A disappears. Okay? Esto es posible solamente con el subject I am. Okay? Solamente con I am. Right? Then we are going to see the other forms here. Uy, porque tengo dos. No lo sé. Okay. Now, we go here with the next sentence. We go here. Let me see. Okay. We're going to copy everything here. Da, 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 da. Okay, remember this is negative. This is not affirmative. This is negative. All of them are negative forms and they are contracted forms. Right? Contracted. So we're going to put them together. Vamos a hacer juntos. Okay. Now, there are two ways right, to put this together. I don't form contractadas in English. Vamos a ver la primera. If we have this, I'm not a teacher, right? The next one is going to be simple. We are going to delete the letter A, right? And we're going to put the apostrophe, right? You are, you you're are. not a student. Mm -hmm. right? You're not a student. Not Look a at student. this. This is the contract you, form. You're, you're not, not a student. You're not a student. Right? You're, you're not, not a student. student. Then we go with this form. She's. And we go here. She's. She's not. She's not a secretary. She's not a secretary. She's and look not at the pronunciation. Secretary. The pronunciation changes. Antes decíamos, she, she is, not. is not. Ahora she decimos, is. She's, she's not. She's not. She's, she's not. not. She's not, not a secretary. secretary. Not. Very good. What is, mm -hmm. what is the contracted negative form? He's not. Right? And He's I'm going to put it here. Let me put He's it here. He's not a I'm truck assistant. driver. He's not a truck driver. Okay, very good. Please write it on the chat. Right, write it on the chat. Let me see what is the chat. I just found it here. He's a truck driver. What is the negative contracted form of that? Carolina Mata. Or anybody. Let's let's write it here. Let's see. Nelson, ya, después de eso le contesto su pregunta, Nelson. Me recuerda, se me va a olvidar. Me recuerda. He is a truck driver. What's what's the negative form of he is a truck driver? He's not. He's not a truck He's driver. He's not a truck driver. Look at that. Very good. Very good, Claudia. Very good job. Now, what about the next one? The next sentence here is, we are supervisors. What is the negative form of that in the contracted way? Contracted way? We are not. 
Okay, write it, write it. Then we go with your students. Your students, Sandra, Azalia, Emerson. Let's see your- You are, you are not student. You are not the students. Okay, very good, write it down. Claudia, you're on fire, very good. It is a beautiful house. It is a beautiful house. Escribámoslo ahí en el chat, todos. Quien tenga la respuesta, escríbala. It is a beautiful house. Uh -huh. Se han atrás por dos oraciones, ya van atrás. It's not a beautiful house, Claudia again. It's not a beautiful house, Franco Vázquez, very good. It's not a beautiful house, Ricardo Gabriel, excellent. Very good. What else, what else? They are floor managers. They are floor managers. Juan Josue, very good. They are not floor managers. It's not a beautiful house, very good. Asalia, Claudia, they are not floor managers. They are not floor managers, Emerson, very good. You see, everyone here is practicing, right? What we need to practice right now. Very good job. Todos estamos practicando ahorita. Nelson, very good. They are not floor managers, Nelson. Floor <laughs> managers. It's not a beautiful house, Francis. Very good. They are not floor managers. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Angela. Very good, Angie. They are not floor managers. Very good. Now, that's the contracted form number one. Okay? That's number one. Hay dos formas de ser contractados y negativos. Right? Ya aprendimos una. Okay? Remember, we have practice, affirmative, affirmative contracted. Negative, negative contracted number one. Now let's see negative contracted number two. Okay? Negative contracted number two. That's what we're going to do right now. Right. Let me show you here. Por eso es que tenía dos páginas. Mírale. Ya me acordé. Let's see here. Now, what are we going to do here? In the verb be, right? In the verb be, oh, le vamos a contestar primero a, a they are not floor managers. Very good, Francis. Le vamos a contestar a Nelson. Nelson. Uh, we are going to see what Nelson was asking before. Nelson was telling me, was asking me, what's the difference between there and there? And I'm gonna share here the question on the computer. Esta, esta es la palabra que no entiende Nelson. They es are... bien común, right? bien común que nos confundamos. Esto todo nos cuesta. There and there, right? There es la contracted form que significa they are. Es la forma contractada. Okay? And there, it means that something belongs to those people. Right? It's possession. Right? There is possession. They, right? they, for example, they are working in their, the in their office. Very good, who said that? Very good. They are working in their office, right? And then we put here the contracted form, right? They're working in their office. Están trabajando en su oficina. Este there es posesión. En la oficina de quién? De ellos, right? De ellos. Esa es la diferencia, Nelson. Right? Es como afirmando. En their office. Sí, exacto. Afirmando la posesión que existe. Posesión es cuando okay. algo le pertenece a usted. Es decir, this mm -hmm. is her okay. cell phone. Right? Uh -huh. This is her cell phone. Estamos hablando que es el teléfono de Azalia, por decir algo. Okay. Right? They are working in their office. ¿De quién es la oficina? De ellos. Right? That, okay. that, tel, uh, that telephone. 
The cell phone? They, the they cell phone are. is theirs. Okay, very good. They are using their cell phone. Están utilizando su teléfono, por ejemplo. They are using their cell phone. Right? The pronunciation okay. is almost similar there and there. Right? It's almost similar, but the context and the writing is different. Is that clear? Yes? Oh, okay. Yes? yes. ¿Estamos bien aquí? Esa es muy buena yes. pregunta. Muy buena pregunta porque siempre nos equivocamos en ese tipo de cosas al oh, inicio. No. Very good, Nelson. Yeah. Yeah. Ese fue un break del, del, del verbo to be. Very good, Nelson. Ok. Si pueden, tómenle capture a screenshot. Right. To capture the screen. And then we continue. Can I erase this? Puedo borrar esto? Can I erase this? Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Now, we were working with a negative form, contracted form number two. Esta es la forma contractada número dos que vamos a ver, right? Y tenemos la primera que es, I'm not a teacher, right? I'm not a teacher. That's good, right? That is very, very good. I'm not a teacher. And this is perfect. Este, esta forma no va a cambiar nunca. Esta es la única. Este sujeto, I am, I am not, tiene solamente una forma contractada. It has only one contracted form. But the other subjects, los demás, tienen más de una. Ok. Entonces, solo la primera se queda igual. Las demás las vamos a cambiar. Vamos a poner la segunda forma. Now, we see this, you're not a student, right? What are we going to do now? It's very simple. Silvia, que loca, le está poniendo más. Yes, right? We're going to put this, right? We're going to put what they have here, right? You are not a student. And look at what I'm going to do. Look what I'm going to do. I am going to, let me make I this bigger. Let me make this bigger, right? I am going to do this, right? I'm gonna put them together. And then I am going to delete the O, right? And this is the apostrophe now. You right? aren't. You aren't a student, very good. Aren't a student. I'm not you a teacher. Are, you you aren't a student. Esa, esa E que ven ahí no la vamos a pronunciar tanto. No vamos a decir aren't. Vamos a decir aren't. You aren't a student. You are. You, very good, friends. It's very good. You aren't you are a, a student. student. You aren't a student. Porque cuando estamos diciendo you are, no decimos you are. Right? Decimos you are. Entonces aquí le vamos a unir. You aren't a student. Very you good. Are. Now, we have the second one. She is not. Right? We do the same. She, she isn't. She isn't. Very good. That's wonderful. She isn't a secretary. Right? She, she isn't, isn't a secretary. secretary. She isn't a secretary. And look at the pronunciation. Aren't. Isn't. Isn't. She, she isn't. Okay. Silvia, ¿y el significado cambia? No. Es lo mismo. Right? Si yo digo, I am not a teacher, I'm not a teacher, es lo mismo. No importa si está contractado. La forma contractada es para ahorrarnos espacio. Right? Para que tengamos una pronunciación más fluida. Pero el significado es exactly the same. Right? The meaning yes, no. is exactly the same. It's that's very important for you to remember. Okay? Now, let's continue. Uh, yeah, perdón, go, ahead. go ahead, Francis. Eso sería solamente para contractarlo o, o en qué caso se ocuparía? In any time. Si usted quiere usarlo contractado, cuando estamos hablando, cuando estamos escribiendo, lo puede utilizar. Pero hay, hay momentos, hay momentos, digamos que usted ya va a trabajar, por ejemplo, yo, 
me piden un informe en mi trabajo, no voy a usar formas contractadas en un ambiente formal, ¿verdad? porque ah, estoy enviando okay. un informe, por ejemplo, o una carta vale. formal para una empresa, no se utilizan formas contractadas. Una forma más contactada que, es para uso diario. Más que todo para diálogos, para hablar. For speaking, para hablar con, en el trabajo, para hablar, pero para formas habladas, para hablar en el trabajo, oh. para hablar en la casa con sus amigos, con sus compañeros de clase, conmigo. That's okay. You can use the contracted form. But with okay. very formal situations, you have to use the full form. Right? No, she's oh, not the secretary. Okay. Ah, she isn't the secretary. Okay. You see the difference? ¿Ven la diferencia? Oh, okay. Very good. That's a good question, Francis. Muy buena pregunta. Nelson, Thank just you. nos puso on fire. Nelson, very good. We aren't supervisors. You aren't students. Me gusta Nelson. Y ya está con todo acá. Veamos, tenemos las oraciones acá. Veamos, hagamos las demás. He isn't a truck driver. Very good. Very good, Claudia. He isn't a truck driver. We aren't supervisors. You aren't just students. What else? Let's see the others. Let's see the others. Veamos las demás. ¿Qué más tenemos? He isn't a truck driver. Very good. What are your answers, everyone else? They aren't floor manager. Okay, let's see. It isn't a beautiful house, David. Sandra, we aren't students. Very good. It isn't a beautiful house, Claudia. They aren't floor managers. Very good. What else? We aren't supervisors. Carolina, supervisors. They aren't floor managers. Very good. They aren't floor managers, Gabriel. They aren't are floor managers or floor managers, Claudia? They aren't floor managers. Very good. Very good. Excellent, Nelson. Now, those are the ways that we're going to have contracted forms. So we have two more. Right, you see? Two more. Affirmative, affirmative contracted. Negative, contracted negative number one, contracted negative number two, right? So we have uh, Angie, very good. We are in supervisors. Very good Miss. job. Very good. Miss. Excellent. Give an applause. Give an applause to yourself. Very good. Any questions? Yes. Go ahead, Ricardo. Juan, de los dos contractados en, en negativo, normalmente, ¿cuál se utiliza más? El, both. Ambos. Yeah, I use both every day. Se me olvida, uso una, después uso el otro. They are contracted okay. forms. Yeah, and usually we use both. Right? No, they are not students. Yeah, they aren't students. You use both. Mm -hmm. They don't change the meaning, so you can use them at any time. Very good question, Ricardo. Very good. They aren't floor managers. Jennifer Abidail, very good. So do you have more questions right now? Alguna pregunta? No? Todo bien? You feel nice? Yes? Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me see. Am I recording the class? Okay, very good. Let's continue here with the class. Now, that was the negative form. I'm gonna show you a conversation, a practice conversation here that I need you to do and that I need you to practice. People is nice means people is nice. Yes, <laughs> that is true, that is true. But in Salvador in English, many people in the 90s, they used to say people is nice, right? and they didn't know what it meant. That's, <laughs> that's a good comment, Claudia. Es cierto, así decían en los 90, people is nice, pero no sabían qué significaba people is, people are, people are nice. People are nice. <laughs> Very good. Now, 
we have a conversation practice here and I would like to do this with you, right? We're going to do this together. We have different options here and I need you, can you see my screen right now? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, very good. Now, we are going to put this together. I remember that, let me see. Ah, here you are. Esta, mire. Antes Zoom tenía esta barrita, la tenía arriba y hoy la tiene abajo. Qué locura. We're going to do this practice together. It says here, hello, Jennifer. How are you? Right? Vamos a tratar de escoger cuál creen ustedes que es la mejor opción. Right? What do you think is the best option? Right? We have David. Jennifer and we have Sarah. David, Jennifer, and Sarah. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? We have the first answer. How are you? Right? And then we have Jennifer, right? What do you think is the answer? She's or I'm fine? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Very good. I'm fine. Thanks. Very good. And then I'm sorry, it's a sorry. What's the best I'm, option? I'm sorry. 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 What's your name again? Right? Se recuerdan cuando íbamos a preguntar eso? What's your name again? Yes. What's your last name again? I am sorry. I am sorry. Yes. And David. So I'm fine. He's David. He's. It's he's David. He's David. He's David. He's David. He's David. It's David. David. Very good. It's David. Very good. That's right, David. This is Sarah Connor. This is Sarah Connor. This is this is Sarah Connor. This is Sarah Connor. Very good. She's he is in our math class. Which is the correct one? She or he? She is. She is. She Very good. She is in our math class. She's Very good. Because he, remember that he is for boys. Right? For boys. He is for boys. Sure. Very good. Then you say, like David. Like hi, it's Sarah. Like hi, it's Sarah. Like it's like hey, Sarah, it's it's it, nice to meet you. It's, it's nice to meet you. To meet you. It's good. nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet too. you. Hi, David. I think, think you are uh, or you are. I'm in my English class. You're, 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 you're in my class. You're in my English class. You're in my English class too. You're 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 in my English English class class too. Very my good. English class. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. I am. I am. I am. I am. All right. Very good. Yeah. I am. All right. Very good. We have the answers correct here with the conversation. Right. Nice. Teacher, one question. Go ahead. They por qué and they be if they be Medina and not his because. They are asking for the name of the person. And the name is a thing. El nombre es una cosa. No ah, es una persona. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. Y recuérdense que it sí. lo usamos okay. para cosas, para animales, para lugares. Right? Entonces se le está preguntando ah, okay. por el nombre, no por él. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. O sea, que David es David, es David Medina. Uh -huh. he, podemos mm -hmm. decir, he is... David Medina. What's his name again? It's David Medina. Right? Dos cosas distintas. Una cosa que yo le diga, he is Henry. Right? He is Henry. Él es Henry. Y otra que, le, que le pregunte, ¿cuál es su nombre? What's your name again? It's, it's Henry. It's right? Estamos hablando de dos okay. cosas muy distintas. Very good. Yes? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Será porque es por la pregunta que dice What is your name en gay que se lo dice. Exactly, exactly. Okay. That is the thing. Por eso, ajá, por eso es it. Because name refers to it. 
Okay. Right. Not to David. Se refiere What? al nombre de David, no a David en sí como persona. Very good. I like this classes. Very good. Very good. Muy buenas preguntas. Very good questions. Very good questions, guys. Now, I need you to please, right? Let me see. Very good questions. Right? I need you to please take a screenshot of this exercise. Take a screenshot. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Take a screenshot. Yeah. Yes. Capture the pantalla. Very good. Now we are going to practice this conversation, right? Because we have a little bit more. Let me see here. I'm going to stop sharing. Vamos a parar de compartir. And then we're going to do another activity here, right? That I need you to practice with me. Right? We're going to practice this conversation in groups, right? Remember yesterday we were working in groups. So today we're going to work in groups of three. Vamos a trabajar en, creo que salen los grupos de tres. I think. Si no, ya las regamos. No, let me see. Okay, yes. We're going to work in groups of three, right? And one is going to be Sarah, the other one is going to be David, and the other one is going to be Jennifer. Se cambian los roles. Vamos a tener alrededor de cuatro o cinco minutos para que cada quien, Pedrina va a ser Sarah, Jennifer y David, los tres, para que practiquemos la conversación por lo menos tres veces, ¿ok? La misma conversación. Si ustedes quieren cambiarle y ponerle su nombre, Hi, this is Sandra Mendez. Hi, this is Franco Vasquez. What's your name again? It's Juan Josué Hernández. If you want to do that, perfect. Si le quieren cambiar los nombres, perfecto. Si lo quieren dejar así como está, it's okay as well. Is that clear? Yes? yes? Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Let's practice yes. right now. Let's practice. We're going to work in groups of three. Right? Y lo voy a ir visitando cada uno. Franco le va a aparecer una invitación para que se una a un grupo. Dele click en yes. Sí, por favor. Se une. Y nos vamos a los grupos. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hello, are you practicing now? Sandra? Yes? Hello. Mm. Uh, how are you? Mm -hmm. Let's remember the conversation, right? Hello, Jennifer, or hello, Claudia, hello, Janet, right? Hello, Jennifer. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Yes, uh, is David? David Medina? That's right. That's right, David. This is Sarah Connor. Carolina, you're Sarah Connor, okay? Ya no es Carolina, usted ahorita es Sarah Connor. Métase en el papel. Hi, <laughs> David, I think. Okay. I'm Hi. Sarah. Um, I'm nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice. Entonces, hey, eh, mm -hmm. yo soy David y usted es Sara Ángela, ¿te parece? 
Sí, le parece. Yes. Nice. Este, okay. vale, comienzo yo entonces. Hello, Jennifer. How Hi, are you? Is, how are, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, el problema que tengo es que no la puedo ver en la conversación. No la puede ver. Ten. Pero ustedes pueden compartir su pantalla cuando están aquí en estos grupos. Uno de ustedes puede compartir su pantalla. ¿Quién está en computador? Yo. Usted. Ok, perfecto. Comparta su pantalla. Miren qué chivo. Ahí está Ricardo. Excelente. Ustedes están en el grupo, ustedes sí pueden compartir pantalla. Cuando están conmigo, no. Pero aquí sí. Nice. Ok, denle con todo. Keep practicing. I will go to another group. Ok. Sigan practicando. No sé cómo estás. And hi, David. I think you're in my English class. El último, Nelson. El último. Oh, right now, yes, I, yes, I am. Okay. Right, yes, I am. Vaya, que inicie otro. Un reglón, cada uno, un reglón completo cada uno. Dale. Ok. Very good, Jose. Very good. Hello, Jennifer. How, how are you? Natalia. Hi. I am fine, thank. Eh, en este caso, pues, a mí me tocaría... Ahora, ser... ahora van a ser yo, Jennifer, y ustedes, ¿eh? A mí me tocaría ser David, creo, ¿cierto? Sí, y yo, Sara. Ah, ok. Eh. Entonces, ¿cómo se Hello, sí. Jennifer. Y yo, Jennifer, ¿sabes? Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Jennifer. I am fine, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name again? It's David, David Medina. That's right, David. This is Sarah Connell. She's in our math class. Hi, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Sarah, hola. Hey, David. You are in my, my English class, too. All right. Yes, I am. Very good. Excellent job, guys. Very good. Right, did you practice Thanks. the three times? Thank you, teacher. Yes. You're welcome. Okay, very good. In one minute, we're gonna go with the next, with the other group, okay? Okay. En un minuto, dos minutos, nos vamos a ir con los otros equipos. Sigan practicando, por favor. Hello. Sorry, era. What's your name again? Algo así, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. voy yo. What's okay. your name again? Very good, Anita. Is David David Medina? Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's right, David. This is Sarah Connor. She is she she is in our NAR class. Hi, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Hi, David. I time your in my English class too. Oh, reading, yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Sí. Sí, estamos bien. Okay, very good. Very good, guys. You're doing great. Muy buen trabajo. ¿Ya practicaron las trapezes? Sí, sí los yes. tres. Okay. Sí, lo intercambiamos. Very good. So we're going to go with the others. Ya nos vamos a ir con todo el equipo. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So I think we have everyone here. Right. One thing. Cuando estamos en los, en los breaker rooms, estamos en equipos pequeñitos, Hay cosas que podemos hacer. Por ejemplo, podemos compartir pantalla para el equipo con el que estamos trabajando. ¿Ok? 
por decir, si alguno de ustedes tiene computador y los otros dos tienen un, un dispositivo móvil, una tablet o un teléfono, sale mejor que el que tiene computadora, por ejemplo, comparta la pantalla y todos trabajan eh, de forma más cómoda. Una opción. La segunda es, por ejemplo, si ustedes, digamos, están trabajando, está Ricardo, Francis y Jennifer, y por A o B motivo no saben qué hacer, hay una opción en la que ustedes pueden pedir ayuda al, fa al fa eh, facilitador, en este caso a mí, ¿verdad? Me piden ayuda y no importa si yo estoy en el equipo número 10, por allá, por la conchinchina, siempre voy a recibir una notificación que uno de ustedes me está pidiendo ayuda y yo puedo irles a ayudar en ese instante, ¿ok? Tal okay. A veces cuando están practicando y solamente estoy escuchando, les puedo ir a ayudar a otros. Entonces, no hay ningún problema con eso. Y... Eh, tercero, cuando yo les mando la notificación de que se unan a este equipo de nuevo, que nos veamos todos, en este caso ustedes tienen 60 segundos. Por si acaso no han terminado la actividad y les falta algo, todavía tienen 60 segundos para ustedes terminar lo que tienen que terminar y cuando se terminan los 60 segundos, automáticamente la, la aplicación los trae directo para acá. ¿Ok? Entonces tenemos okay. tres cosas que podemos tomar en cuenta para facilitarnos el trabajo. Any questions? Any questions? No? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Very good. Me debería pagar Zoom. Ahora, let's see. We have the conversation here. Tengo problemas con el internet. One of your classmates. I want to listen to some groups with the conversation, right? We have the conversation on the screen. Aquí ya no están las respuestas porque ustedes ya las tienen. And I am going to mention some names. Eneida, who was in your group? ¿Quién estaba en su equipo? Who was in your group? Eneida. Eneida. Eh, Francis. Francis, ajá. Y eh, me fijé en el nombre. Ok, Francis, Eneida, and the other person. Let's practice the conversation. Ustedes son el grupo número uno. Vamos, como lo practicaron. Ustedes deciden quién es quién. ¿Quién hice yo? Ok. Hello. Jennifer, how are you? Francis, you are on mute. No se escucha, Francis. Eh, cheese, I thank you. Okay. I am sorry, what's your name again? It's David, David Medina. Thank you. Right. David. No, perdón. Me equivoqué. Sí, sí, ahí es. Ajá. Uh -huh. David, she is. Sarah Connor. She is. She is. Sarah Connor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She is in our match class. Hi, Sarah. Nice. It's nice to meet you too. Hi, hi, David. I think you're in my English class too. All right. Yes, I am. Okay. ¿Quién era que estaba en el equipo con ellos? Es la que no entró. Yo, yo. ¿Qué le pasó? Iliana, Iliana. Okay, Iliana. ¿Qué le pasó, Iliana? Sí. Pensé que solo ellos dos lo iban a seguir. No, you are Sarah. You're Sarah. You have to pay attention. Now, remember here. Pay attention here. Cada, cada persona tiene sus dos puntitos de diálogo. Right? Sí. Yes. So, David goes, hello, Jennifer. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm sorry. What's your name again? It's David Medina. That's right. Jennifer did say, that's right. David, this is Sarah Connor. Yes. She is in our math class. 
No lo dice David, lo dice Jennifer. Right? Yes. Miren los puntitos, dos puntos significa que eso es lo que dice esa persona exactamente. ¿Ok? David. Ok. okay. Very good. Let's listen to another group. Escuchemos a otro equipo. Very good. Get them an applause. Very good job. Very good. Very good. Very good. Let's listen to another group. And let's see here. Eh, Francis, choose another person. Escoja a alguien más. Francis, choose another person. Francis. Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo. Ricardo Gabriel. Ok, very good. Eh, empieza Ricardo. Ok, ahora okay. va el equipo de Ricardo. Ricardo, nice. who was in your group? Eh, Jennifer uh -huh. and Angela. Ok, very good. Jennifer and Angela, ready. <laughs> Excuse me, que mi internet ha estado inestable y no pude participar en el grupo reducido. Creo que solo ellos dos estuvieron, teacher. Ahorita es buen tiempo para participar, no se preocupe. Let's go. Ok, ok. Vaya. ¿Qui ¿Quién soy yo? ¿Baby o Jennifer? Vaya, usted, si quiere, la hagamos así. Usted es Jennifer, eh, Jennifer es Debbie y yo soy Sara. Ok, ok. Ok. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, um, I am fine, thank you. What your name again? It is... It is... It is, is they... Okay, okay. David. It is David Medina. Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. David. This is Sarah Connor. She is in your math class. Hi, Sara. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, David. I think you're my English class too. David? Wait, <laughs> pero. <laughs> okay. Or I yes, I am or I am. I am. Very good. Get them an applause. Very good. Very good. No nos aflijamos. Recuerden, es apenas el segundo día. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's see another person. Eh, Jennifer, escoja otro a, a otro compañero, otro equipo. Okay. Eh, Claudia Ramos. Claudia. Hello. Who's in your group? Uh, Carolina y Sandro. Uh -huh. Hey, let's do it. Uh, yo comienzo. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, hi. Thanks. Jennifer. I am sorry. I am sorry. What's your name again? It's David Medina. That's right, David. This is Sarah Connor. She's in our mid class. Hi, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Sara, Sara, Sara. Hi, David. I think you're in my English class too. All right. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Very good. Very good job. Very good job. Now, what we need to do, guys, is to keep practicing. Okay. <laughs> Ok, don't worry, we're going to keep practicing. Vamos a seguir practicando, Franco, ok? No se preocupe. 
Va, tenemos un sinfín de prácticas, así que don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Seguimos acá. Now that we have this... No entendí. No entiendo absolutamente nada porque se me, el internet está súper, súper malo. Todo cortado, después no sé, no sé lo que están diciendo. En este momento no estoy escuchando absolutamente nada, por si me escuchan. Yes, okay. me escuchamos. Yes, we, we understand. Okay, give me a moment, guys. Okay. Yes, guys, sometimes internet issues happen. Okay. Los eh, problemas de internet muchas veces suceden y no es posible es, es, eh, o sea, hacer nada desde donde estamos, ¿verdad? Pero si eso pasa, quedémonos porque a veces el solito se va restableciendo el internet, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de, 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 de hacer eso, porque a veces eso sucede, que el internet se nos cae y nos paniqueamos, ¿verdad? Pero tratemos de quedarnos para seguir practicando, a veces se estabiliza el solito, ¿ok? Now, let's continue. But before we continue, the second round of attendance, la segunda ronda de la asistencia, chicos. Veamos acá, rapidito. Rapidito, rapidito. Let me show here your names again. Let's see. Eneida Yasmin Hernández Cruz. Present. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Azalia Melanie, okay. Claudia Janet Ramos Hernández. I'm here. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present. Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Present. Juan José Hernández Hernández. Present. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. David, are you there? David, David, David. Se fue David. Uy. Estaba conectado. Quizá le pasó algo, Chicho. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uy, me congelo, dice. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Presente. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Mario Noé Vázquez Núñez. Mario Noé. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Wilfredo José Pañagua Castro. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Franco Damián Vázquez. Franco Damián. Franco is there. Presente por si me escucha. Ok, very good. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Presente. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente. Very good, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, we're going to, thank you, Franco. Now, we're going to keep working here, right? We're going to keep, yes, Angie, after the class, Angie, after the class, okay? Se yes, queda conmigo you. un rato. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to keep working here with another activity. Ya vamos practicando un poquito más de conversaciones, un poquito más de qué decir acerca de nosotros. So, I'm going to show you here, right, a conversation. Esta conversación es un poco más amplia y está en sus eh, manuales. This conversation is in your book, okay? I'm going to show you here. Can you see my computer? Can you see my computer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Yes. Very good. Now that you can see my computer, we have a conversation. This conversation, like I said, 
is in your manual, right? Está en su libro, no necesitan copiarla. Okay. Está ahí, está disponible. Yeah. Ya les voy a decir en qué página. Pero para mientras, la tenemos acá. We have the conversation between Mary, Christina. Romeo, and Rodrigo. Right? Mary, Romeo, and Rodrigo. Right? We have a conversation here, right? And they are talking about something. So let's go ahead and listen. Oh, the conversation is on page 11. En la página 11 tenemos la conversación. It's on page 11, right? Very good. Thank you, Francis. Okay. It says here, Mary, okay. listen to my, listen to the pronunciation, please. Listen. Mary, good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay. Now, we have this information here, right? I want you to tell me, I want you to tell me here, where do you see the verb to be? Right. For example, the verb to be for me is here. I am. I am. I am. Am. Right. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. That's two. What's the next sentence that you can see there? I With the verb be. Mr. Romeo. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. Very good. And another one? They are. They what? Are. They are. They are Mr. Rodrigo Campos, Mr. Rodrigo Campos. and Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese. Welcome. Okay. We are. Welcome. Welcome is with the verb. We, we are, are from, from the marketing, marketing department. We are we from the marketing from department. From the marketing Very department. good. Okay, what's the I other am one? not. I no, am I am not. not. No, I am not. I'm Very good. The, I am from the quality. I am from the I am from the quality department. department. They another are marketing. They are marketing managers. They are marketing managers. Very good. What's another one? We aren't from. We are from the same department. We aren't from the same department. We are a colleague. We are colleagues. Very good. We are colleagues. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So we have there a lot of information here. Right, a lot of practice with the verb be. Right, a lot of practice with the verb be. Now let's check the pronunciation. Right, let's check the pronunciation for each one of them. Yes, clear drawings. Now, what's the difficult pronunciation? Listen, listen carefully. Listen carefully. College? Secretary. Colleagues, Secretary. very good. Colleagues, porque si dicen, si dicen college, sería así, miren. Si dicen college, sería este. Y college es universidad. Ah, college es universidad. Entonces, y aquí colleagues son como, por ejemplo, otros profesores de inglés. They are my colleagues. Colegas. Colegas, exactly. Very good. Very good. The equality. Quality, very good. Quality, that's a difficult Quality. word. Very good. Quality. 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 Colleagues. What's another word that's difficult for you? Con, con SH. Yeah. Colleague. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Colleague con SH. Colleague. Oh. Colleague. Escríbamelo en el chat porque no, no, no doy con la palabra. Escríbamelo en el chat. Escríbamelo en el chat. En la pronunciación, teacher. En la pronunciación. Colleague, S, S, H, al final, ¿cómo? Eh? No sé qué palabra me está diciendo, por eso escríbame en el, en, el, en el chat para recordar. Escríbame en el chat para ver cuál es, cuál es. 
Okay, Colin. what's another word that's new and different? Marketing. 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 Very Marketing. good. Very good. Marketing. Marketing. And then we go with, no, managers is Marketing. easy. Manager is easy. Now, things that we're going to check with. Cool. Oh, it's college. College. Cool. College. Cool. Asalia is college. Ese es universidad, college. Pero esa no está aquí en la, en la, en la conversación. It's college. Universidad, college. College. La que puso Sally en el, en el chat es college, pero no la estamos usando ahorita. Y significa universidad. La que estamos utilizando es colleagues. 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 Exactly. Colleagues. colleagues. Very good. Colleagues. colleagues. Now, we are going to check here also the, the pronunciation. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo hacemos la pronunciación en inglés? El español se denota porque es un, un idioma que es bastante eh, estándar, no tenemos mucho, mucho flow, le vamos a decir, en la pronunciación, en la entonación. En cambio, inglés, el inglés se denota porque es un, un idioma que es como el jazz, tiene su, su flow, su música. Right? Es muy diferente que usted diga, Good morning, I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Buena pronunciación. Todo bien. Sin embargo, no tiene la entonación que debería de tener para que un native speaker, una persona nativa del inglés, la entienda como la entendería normalmente. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer énfasis en la entonación también, no solo la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Podemos pronunciar bien, pero si no le damos énfasis, ¿qué le debemos de dar? Entonces, todavía nos falta un poquito. Por ejemplo, palabras como Good morning. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. Good morning. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Welcome. 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 Hi, welcome. Imagínense que ustedes van a decir welcome. Welcome. We're from the marketing department. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. Welcome. Right? No, I'm not. Right? No, Welcome. I'm not. Right? Welcome. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you for the information. Hi, thank you for the information. Right? We're going to see the intonation, la entonación, and pronunciation, pronunciación. Cosas muy distintas en el idioma. For, ¿Ok? Thank you for your class. Okay. What's the difference, David says, what's the difference between colleague and university? Colleague, colleague, David, el que tenemos en la, en la, el que usted ha escrito en el chat, colleague es, por ejemplo, otros profesores de inglés, they are my colleagues. Son mi, mis pares, mis colegas, right? And university, it's uh, like a place where you study a bachelor's degree, right? Or maybe you say college, college and colleagues, David? Is that what you mean, David? College, college versus colleague, is that what you meant? ¿Es, ¿A eso se refería? Pronunciación, teacher. Yes, pero ya dijimos, la primera es, la primera es college. Eso no, no se parece a colleagues. Right? Colleagues es lo que tenemos colleagues. nosotros aquí. Colleagues. Entonces, es college. Right? ¿Qué significa? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Este que les decía que significa universidad. Diferencia entre este, David, college and university, it's very simple. In El Salvador, in El Salvador, we have like four universities, I think. University of El Salvador, right? Technological University, 
Francisco Gaviria University and uh, Jose Simeon Cañas University. Then we have a lot of colleges. College are the, these small universities, las universidades pequeñas, esos son los colleges. Son universidades, ¿verdad? Pero son más pequeñas. Que están, que se enfocan solamente en una cosa, no tienen el montón de facultades. Ese es un college. Por ejemplo, el Centro Cultural Salvadoreño de, de San Salvador, that's a college. Tiene una universidad, pero ella, esa universidad solamente tiene licenciados en idioma inglés. And that's it. No sacan doctores, no sacan eh, ingenieros, nada. Solo licenciados en idioma inglés. That's a college. Right? Entonces, ¿ese sería un colegio? No, es una universidad. Es una universidad. Okay. El colegio, cuando ustedes decimos colegio, es un private, private school. Un colegio, de esos que se pagan, que son carísimos. Así, private school, como el García Flamenco. Right? Como el... Uh, no me acuerdo los otros colegios. <laughs> But those are private schools, colegios privados. Salvador, New Salvador. <laughs> Pero el college son universidades pequeñas. Son universidades que se enfocan en una sola rama académica. Esa es la diferencia entre college and university, baby. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Por ejemplo, la Universidad de Salvador, usted va y ahí hay de todo, niña. Y va y, uh, un sinfín de carreras. Vaya al, 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 al Instituto Centro Cultural, a la Universidad del Centro Cultural, y solo hay una, dos carreras. Y las dos son en idioma inglés. Perdón, entonces la, pro, la pronunciación de los dos, ¿cuál sería? College es uno y este otro sería college. Colleagues. 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 Y esto, teacher, esto es universidad también, college. No, 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 no. Se me están confundiendo, college chicos. Es college. Ajá. Esto es college, college es universidad. Ajá, universidad, ajá. ¿Y este? esto qué es? Les acabo de explicar. Colegas. Colegas. Este es colegas. Colegas. Oh, colegas. Okay. Y esta es universidad. La pronunciación es distinta. Ok, teacher. Okay. Y esta es colegas. colegio. El colegio que conocemos nosotros acá. Private school es un colegio de esos carísimos que hay aquí en el país. College y este es colegio. Uh -huh. Very okay. good. Now. Let's practice the pronunciation here. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's practice here the pronunciation. And I want to listen to Juan Josué and Azalia. Juan Jose, you are Mary. Azalia, you are Romeo or Romeo. Nelson Brian, you are Rodrigo. Let's start. One. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes, we are from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thanks you so much for the information. Very good. Give them an applause. Very good. Very good. All right. Thank you so much for the information. Now let's practice one word. Let's practice one word here. I want you to practice this word. One second. We're going to practice this word. I'm going to put it here. Depart. 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 
Ment. 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 Okay. Ment. Department. 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 Okay. Department. So we don't say uh, department. No, we say department. 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 Very good. Department. Very good. Pedrina, how do you pronounce department. pronounce that word? Department. 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 Very good. Ricardo. Department. 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 Very good. Emerson. Department. Department. Nelson. Department. Department. Very good. Department. Very good. Jennifer. Department. Department. Very good. Now I need three more people here. Let's see Ricardo. Let's see Emerson. And let's listen to Franco. Is your is your internet working? Funciona su internet, Franco? No? No? Okay. Pedrina, you go. Yes. Okay. Pedrina, you are Mary. Ricardo, you're Romeo. And Emerson, you're Rodrigo. Okay. Good morning. I am Mar Mary Garcia. I am the work secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Romeo Lobos. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. They, Welcome. They, we are from the marketing department. No, I'm not. I'm from the equally department and they are marketing managers. Yes, we are from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank, thank you so much for the information. Very good. Very good, Mary. Thank you so much for the information. Very good, very good. Now let's practice this word. Quality. 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 Some people will say quality. 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 Esa es otra forma de decirlo. Quality. Quality. Or quality. Very good. Good pronunciation. Who was that? Quality. Very good. Quality. 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 Very good. Quality. Very good job. Now, we're going to stop here. Vamos a seguir con otra actividad. Very good. Vamos a seguir practicando. Eso. Tenemos un montón de cosas que hacer. Okay. Now, on page 11, on your book, on page 11, we have this exercise. Look at this exercise. It says here, pair work. Complete the sentences using some information from the conversation above, right? It says, Rodrigo and Luis, marketing managers. What do we need to put him? What? Rodrigo and Luis? They are. Okay, very good, very good. Now, we need to pay attention to this. Rodrigo and Luis, if we put they are, they are, right? Si ponemos acá they are como respuesta, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué es lo que estamos repitiendo acá? Rodrigo and Luis, they are marketing managers. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo okay. and Luis. Very good. Recuérdense, remember, mm. yesterday, Yesterday, we said that the subject pronouns are you, we, they. Are marketing. Solo es are, are, are. Solo es are marketing managers. Mm -hmm. Very good. Solo they okay. se puede suplantar por Rodrigo y Luis. O usamos el uno okay. o usamos el otro. Principio. Okay. Very good. We use one or the other, right? But we cannot use both. No podemos usar ambos, right? So in this case, we're going to say Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Is that correct? Veamos la conversación. Veamos la conversación. A ver qué dice la conversación. 
Let's just stop sharing. What does the conversation say? Let's read the conversation. ¿Qué dice la conversación? Rodrigo. Oh, oh, no. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I'm not. I'm from the quality department. They are marketing managers. They are. Okay, very good. So Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Very good, very good. What about Romeo and Rodrigo? They are from the same department. Are from the same department? Romeo from the same department. Aren't from the same department. Aren't, negative. Aren't, Aren't from the same department? No, son. Yeah, or from, are from the same department. Romeo, Rodrigo, Aaron. Aren't, negative uh, or positive? Negative, negative or positive? Negative. 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 Aren't from the same department. Very good. What about number three? It says, we colleagues. We are colleagues. We are colleagues. We are colleagues. Very good. We are colleagues. And what about number four? They in the same company. They are. They are. They are. They in the are same company. In the same company. Very good. Very good. Very good, guys. They are in the same company. Si se fijan. Con atención. Si se fijan, acaban de analizar una oración, una conversación pequeña. Right. Acaban de analizar la conexión que hay entre el verbo to be y el significado de cada oración. Right. Ya vamos entendiendo. Very good. Very good. Very good. No solamente se trata de llenar, se trata de entender qué dice la conversación para poder completar este pequeño ejercicio. No necesitamos mil preguntas. Con cuatro preguntas vamos entendiendo. Very good. Now, I need you to please, please, cuando hagamos ejercicios del libro, exactamente que vengan en el libro, tenemos que llenar los ejercicios también en el libro, ¿verdad? No los podemos dejar solo así y no, no llenarlos en el libro porque si no, se nos va a olvidar. Así que vamos a tomar un par de minutos to copy the exercise or to, I don't know if you already print the, the book, si ya lo imprimieron o no lo imprimieron, ¿verdad? No, Llenémoslo. Me and I think I'm going to send this. Okay. Okay, very good. Bueno, mañana lo voy a imprimir. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Si ya lo imprimió bien, y si no, pues, lo podemos seguir imprimiendo después. Ok. Did you finish? Did you finish? ¿Terminaron? Yes. Ok. No. Y le voy a ir poniendo frases, recuérdense, para que se recuerden lo que yo digo. Did you finish? ¿Terminaron? Did you finish? Okay. Cuando les pregunto eso ya saben que es. Yes, yes, very good. Very good. Excellent. Now, we are going to continue with another exercise. And I need you to look at this. In the book, right? The book has separated right here. The book has separated the, this is the bird to be, but we already did this. Right? We already practiced the affirmative statements. We practiced the negative statements, right? But here, here, they have what I show you, what I showed to you before. How we can change we, we are Irene and Cindy. We are uh -huh. Irene and Cindy, right? 
Now, we have yeah, some manager. examples. We're just going to read manager. the examples. Yeah. Uh, Nelson, can you please yes. read the examples in the affirmative form? And Angela, read the examples in the negative form. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay, you start, okay. Nelson. We are Irene and Cindy. Well, Irene and Cindy, you are manager, your managers, they are colleagues, they, their colleagues. Negative? Okay, we are not Irene and Cindy, we are not Irene and Cindy, you are not managers, you are not manager, they are not colleagues, colleagues, Colleges, as yes. Colleges. Colleges. They are not colleges. College. Okay. They are not colleagues. No hay CH al final de esa palabra. Para todos. No hay CH. La Colleges. palabra termina Colleges. acá. Colleges. 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 Con G. Con G. Con G. Se escucha como una G. Listen. Colleges. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Colleagues, colleagues, good, colleagues, 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 colleagues. Porque muchos están diciendo college, no, colleagues. Exactly, very good, colleagues, very good. No termina con S, sino que con G. Termina con S. Cuando es plural. Cuando es plural, podemos decir, you are my colleague. They are colleagues. ¿Sí? Right? Yes. Okay. Very good, Azalia. Very good, Azalia. Now, we continue here. Esto es lo que ya vimos al inicio de la clase, ¿verdad? Ya lo vimos. No nos preocupamos. Remember, affirmative. In full form, affirmative in the contracted form. Negative in the full form, negative in the contracted form, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, very good. Now, let's see this exercise, which is very easy. We have the exercise on page 12, in la página 12. Page 12, right? It says, complete the statement <laughs> using the Plural of B. Complete the statement using the plural of B okay. and information in parentheses. Then Continue. compare the answer with a partner. Very good, Franco. Very good. Now, we have here six sentences, right? And let's see what could be the answers for this. Very easy. Number one, Carolina Mata. What do you think the answer I is? Call. Okay. Carolina? They are receptionists. They are receptionists. Receptionists are the people, right? Usually women that are in, for example, in the hotels, in the restaurants. When you walk in, right? And you say, hi, good morning. Um, and you go to the hotel. Right, or to the restaurant, you have a receptionist. Cuando va a un hotel o a un restaurante, ven a una recepcionista. Usually in the lobby, in, el, in la parte de recepción, se llama lobby, right? Y tenemos una receptionist, right? They are receptionists. Very good, Carolina. Let's see another person. Let's see here. Uh, Juan Josué, number three. Susan and Marcos are not colleagues. Are not colleagues. Very good. Susan and Marcos are not colleagues. Very good. Number four. Please. Number four. Franco. Franco? Franco? 
Your microphone might be on mute, Franco. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. We are accountants. We are accountants. Very good. Listen? We are accountants. Account yes. Yes. We are accountants. Account Very good. Okay. Thank accountants you. are the people are that. Accountants? Yes. Thank you. Accountants are the people that check the money. Right? Son los que miran el dinero a final de mes. I think Franco is an accountant. Right, Franco? I am an accountant. Very good. Yes. Very good. I am Franco an accountant. Is an accountant. Very good, Franco. Let's see number five. Number five. Asalia. We are Miss Herrera and Mrs. Mahi. Okay. We're um we're Carla and Sandra. We're Carla and Sandra, okay. Or we are Carla and Sandra. Very good. Very good, Asalia. Thank you. Let's see. Next, next question. Ricardo Gabriel. Number six. Okay. They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. Very good. They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. And Emerson, number two. You aren't supervisors. You aren't supervisors. Very good. Fíjense cómo Emerson decidió utilizar la contracted form y no la full form. Very good, Emerson. Very good. Eso se llama ya tener opciones cuando vamos a hablar. Okay, muy bien. Please complete the exercise on your notebooks or your books. Complete su ejercicio en el notebook, en el cuaderno o en el libro, como usted lo tenga ahí. Vamos a completar para no dejar esa parte olvidada. Let's complete the exercise. We're going to take a couple of minutes to do that. Como un anuncio, recuérdense que uh, cuando entramos a la clase hay que entrar al momento con su nombre completo, así como está en el DUI, así como lo bautizaron, por favor, para que no tengamos problema con Instaport. He estado cambiándoles algunos por ahí el nombre, pero no me quedó tiempo. So, tomorrow, please, try to put your full name. Full name. Okay. Did you finish the exercise? Yes? ¿Ya terminaron de copiar el ejercicio? Yes. Yes, okay. Very good, Claudia. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Okay, we're Carla and Sandra, or we are Carla and Sandra. Ah, ok, miren la pregunta de Asalia. Miren la pregunta de Asalia. Yo lo escribí, we're Carla and Sandra, o we are Carla and Sandra. ¿Cuál es la correcta? A ver. We are. We are. Why? ¿Por qué? Why? Ambas formas. Both forms. Very good. Yes. Recuérdense. La forma contractada y la forma full form. Las dos son correctas. Las dos significan lo mismo. Right? Sí. Ambas. Ambas dos okay. dicen una compañera. Sí. No. Both are correct. Right? Both are correct, right? Both are correct. Ambas son correctas. Both okay. are correct. Yes. Right? Very good. Very good, Asalia. That was a perfect question para que se nos quite el sueño. Very good. Very good. Ambas son correctas. Okay, digamos, por ejemplo, we are not Carla and Sandra. We aren't Carla and Sandra, which is correct. Yes. 
both. Both, both are correct, right? Ambas, dice Claudia, ya que we are es contractada. Very good. Very good. That's the analysis that we need. Eso se llama análisis del idioma. Muy bien. Very good job. Very good job a todos. Now, let's see. We have the last exercise. Cinco minutos. Uno, podemos hacer un montón de cosas en cinco minutos. Let's see. We have the last exercise here. Is this here? This exercise is not in your book. Or I think it is. I don't remember. It says complete and practice the conversation with two new classmates using your own names and information in the guide. Continue the conversation in your own way. Very good. Now we have A, B, and C, three people, right? And we start here like, hello, right? What can I say here when I say hello? Hello, what can I, I am say? Uh-huh, Franco? Hello, I am Franco. Hi, nice to meet you. We are Silvia and Pedrina. Pedrina, you go here. Girar Ocupatim. Uh-huh. Dígame una ocupación de las que hemos aprendido. We are? We are secretary. Okay, really, okay. Franco? Really, I am accountant. Oh, right. We are not from the same department, Franco. Uh, what I had to say in the... What can you say? Uh-huh. No, we are not from the same department. Usted puede afirmar de nuevo, no. Como yo le digo, no, we're not from the same department. Oh, yes, we are not from the same department. And then Pedrina can finish with, oh, thank you for the information, right? Thank you for the information. Now, this is the exercise, and I want you to listen to me. Please take a screenshot of this exercise. Take the screenshot. Okay. ¿Ya le tomaron el screenshot? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Now, I want you to listen to me. Me voy a poner en mute para que escuchemos bien. Esta, esta va a ser una actividad que nosotros vamos a hacer, right? Recuérdense que hoy es el día 2. En el día 2, nosotros comenzamos con la participación que vamos a ir haciendo. Aparte de las tareas que vamos a tener en el sitio web, también vamos a hacer una pequeña discusión. Les voy a mostrar acá para que no se nos olvide. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? En la discusión de la tarea 2. Nos pues vamos para la tarea 2 hoy. Recuérdense. Let's see here. Let me show you. Esta va a ser su, como su segunda tarea, aparte de la que ya tiene. Santo. Ok. Yesterday, right, we have video conference number one. Look, this is the video, right? Estamos bien felices. Ricardo, not so happy. Emerson, not so happy, but we're there, right? This is the first video. Affirmative and negative statements. You click on the video and you see how much time we were there. Right, we were two hours and 11 minutes. Good, gosh. Right, we have a discussion. Para el día uno no tenemos discusión, right? Solo tenemos el video. But we have tarea número uno, right? We have tarea número uno and we have five questions there, five sentences. These sentences are pretty easy. Tarea número uno. For example, Right. What can I write in number one? Michelle, floor manager. Are a floor manager? A is a floor manager? Is a floor manager? Is a floor is, manager. Is a floor manager. Very good. And then we continue with the others. Once you finish, you click on submit. Aquí. A mí no me parece porque no lo he terminado. You know, submit, right? And then you will have the answers. Then you go to the next one, video conference number two, just no questions and short answers, right? And you will see here the video. Aquí está Mr. Science ahorita. Después no va a estar Mr. Science, vamos a estar nosotros, right? 
vamos a ver el video de la clase de hoy. En esta parte de discussion, abajo del video, vamos a poner cada quien de esta conversación que acaban de tomarle una captura de pantalla, van a completar cada uno de ustedes una conversación. Right? Se, se van a inventar la conversación con todos los elementos que hemos practicado de ayer y hoy y la van a poner acá. Okay? Yo voy a poner el, el post con la conversación para que ustedes se recuerden y luego ustedes van, cada uno de ustedes va a hacer una conversación distinta. ¿Está claro? Yes. Esa va a ser su yes. segunda tarea. And then you will have tarea number two. Tarea number two. It says, is she Rebecca? Yes, she. Is. Is not. Is. What do you think is the correct answer? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, very good. Esta tarea, yo, se la, yo les recomendaría que la hicieran hasta el miércoles. Okay. La vamos a hacer el miércoles. La pueden hacer mañana, intentar hacerla y si se sacan mala nota, no importa. La podemos hacer después. Okay. Hasta que tengamos 80. No hay problema. Pero traten de hacerla a ver cómo les sale. Siempre son cinco preguntas distintas que vamos a completar. Okay. That's for everyone. So you have two homeworks okay. from the platform y una de la clase que vamos a tratar de hacer. Now, any questions so far? Any questions? Teacher, no. Um, lo, para ingresar al sitio web, lo, o sea, me imagino que hay una dirección o algo. Eh, sí. Para sí, Ángela. Tarea. Sí, okay. hay una dirección. Ya se la voy a dar. Voy a quedar con usted un ratito más, ¿verdad? Y para todos los demás, ahorita vamos a pasar la última vez la lista, súper rápido. Sí, Janet. That's correct. We are going to create a conversation. Para la tarea. We are going to create a conversation, Claudia. Me hace el favor de mandarme el enlace también a mí la tarea, porque como ayer no estuve presente. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay, Franco. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Si quieres, se queda después un ratito con, con así como vamos a estar con Ángela. Uh, Uno, dos, tres minutitos. Ahora, okay. déjenme pasar la lista, porque ya es la diez, sí, ya nos pasamos. Bien. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. Casalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Claudia Yanet Ramos Herrera. Uh, I'm here, pero es de Hernández. Ah, es de Hernández, sorry. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present. Nelson Brian, ok. Present. Jennifer Abidaí López Escoto. Present. Ok. Juan José Hernández Hernández. Present. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Present. Ricardo Gabriel Varenga Ventura. I am here. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Pedrina. Present. Norma Carolina Mata de Cheves. Yeah. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Mario Noé Vázquez Núñez. Emerson Javier Rivas Rojas, Rivera Rojas. Present. Wilfredo José Paniagua Castro. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Sandra Gladys. Present. Franco Damián Vázquez. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Francis. Presente. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente. Okay, very good. So that's the attendance for today, guys. Thank you for coming to the class on time. Nos vemos mañana a las ocho sí. en punto. Here, yes. El mismo link para unirnos, ahí está en el WhatsApp. Vamos a ver si podemos pin el, el, la información. Thank you, Asalia. And have a beautiful night, guys. Hoy no le voy a cortar yo la, la conversación porque me quedo con Ángela y con Franco. Pasen okay. buenas noches. Good y night. Night. have a beautiful Thank day. You. Good night. Have a beautiful night. Good Thank night. You. <laughs> bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye. guys. Bye. bye.
Te voy a preguntar cómo va el ser Juan ahí. 